Welcome to the bloodiest battleground in the world of cars. A fight for supremacy between the very best fast cars of our time. It is a battleground of radically different weapons. Compare, for example, the fastest car General Motors has ever made, the 638 horsepower Corvette ZR1, with the digital masterpiece that offers up more go for your pound, dollar, yen, or dirham than anything else on the planet, the Nissan GTR. Others are subtler, as precise as a surgeon's blade, like the Ferrari 458, which might just be the finest car the Italians have ever made. And then there are cars that are far from perfect, but with that certain something. Like the Lexus LFA, this is, for me, the most brilliant supercar ever made. If you disagree, you're wrong. Let battle commence. At the turn of the century, Le Mans wasn't just a race you visited to watch Audi repeatedly walk off with the big trophy. It was a race you visited to watch harder, nastier GT versions of fast road cars kicking great lumps out of each other's bodywork. Here then we have some of the finest production cars born of the racetrack. Cars like the Dodge Viper GTS ACR, a car so violent it makes the normal 8-litre V10-powered Viper look timid. Cars like the 360 Challenge Stradale, which packed Ferrari's GT racing know-how into a car you could drive to the shops, as long as you didn't mind arriving at the shops with blood gushing from your ears. Many of these cars should never have been allowed on the public road. They were designed to race and be warned. They do not suffer fools gladly. Tread carefully and pack fresh undergarments. Men might not have been men in the 1980s, but the cars we drove. Testarossa, Kunta, M1. Even the names have enough testosterone to make you forgive the decade that taste forgot. In Europe, king of the hill was the 180 mile an hour Ferrari, the 512TR, the second generation Testarossa, with its vast air intakes chilling a five liter flat 12 engine that seemed to occupy acres of the back of the car and also the road. Being fastest was, of course, the obsession in the me, me, me 1980s, and Lamborghini wasn't lying down. The LP5000 QV was the final and fastest version of Countach, which started life back in 1974. The BMW M1 and Ferrari GTO, meanwhile, were the fruits of racing projects, though neither really ever got to compete. Sporting regulations were as flighty as fashion in the 1980s, 